Hello, I'm Andrewism, and welcome back to Battlefleet Gothic Armada Campaign. So, uh, we've kind of teamed up with the Elder, the Chaos have two Blackstone Fortresses, and about 40% about of the worlds in the sector are taken over by Chaos. Well, it's actually 38% because it's a really easy number because you just double this. Uh, so, yeah. It's going okay? I mean, for allies, the Elder sure do have a lot of worlds that they took off me. I'm just saying. That doesn't seem very ally-ish, does it? I mean, they've got pretty much the entire Cyclops cluster. I mean, not the Elder, but bad guys. As another return, we've got no deployments left. I wonder if we're going to have any cinematic stuff. Admiral Spire. Hi. Eldrathane. Your assistance dealing with the Orcs has not been forgotten. Allow me to repay you <coughs> for sharing some important and potentially dangerous information. I've been affected by Nurgle. I travel with a Farseer, one of my people who can read the weaves of fate. Her powers have revealed a traitor amongst your Imperial Navy, a captain named Elias Okar. He will betray you soon, during a major battle. If he is not dealt with, his actions may give Abaddon a decisive victory in this war. Why should I trust this vision of the future from a Xenos witch? This man may be a loyal servant of the Emperor. Any who wear the uniform of the Imperial Navy are worthy of it. I fought seditious forces. I literally know that's bollocks. That which you call chaos can corrupt even the brightest spirit. I give you this knowledge only because the great enemy threatens us both. Consider it an act of good faith. I will need to consult with the Sector High Strategic Council. Do as you must, human. I am leading my ships to remove this traitor at once. You can either help excise this cancer from your midst or stand in my way. The choice is yours. Lord Admiral, Inquisitor, do you believe that the alien is correct? We have only his word to go on. Captain Elias Okar is a reliable man. He has always fought the enemies of the Emperor. I have heard certain rumors about Captain Okar. He has been far more distant with his crew since the beginning of the war. It seems we must rely on your instincts, Admiral Spire. This Eldar Prince communicates only with you, so we are trusting you to make the correct decision. So, okay, so that bit about... Oh, any who wear the uniform are obviously, like, amazing and stuff. I mean, I know that's bollocks, because there's literally seditious forces, like, in every one of these sectors. I'm literally fighting them every other day. I don't know. It's not maybe not days. It's, like, every year or whatever. I literally know that's wrong. Um, like, why do we have to accept or deny? Can we just, like, go talk to him? Why? Also, the same symbol on both of those makes me really confused. Like, it's like, Elder symbols. Excellent. But they've got nothing to do with the choices. But okay. Um, that's bad duo design. I mean, not that it matters, because it says, except it deny and they're big, and we already know it's held up. But in, in principle, you shouldn't put the same symbol on two buttons that do different things. Um, but like... <sighs> why can't we just go talk to him? Why can't we just bring him in for questioning? Get Inquisitor Horse to get him in. Do maybe, you know, the thumb screws, whatever the Inquisition do these days. I mean, I'm gonna accept, because if the Inquisitor thinks it's a good idea, then I'm gonna do the Inquisitor's thing, because the Inquisitor actually has seniority. He doesn't, he doesn't have seniority, he has override power. But also, why can't we just bring him in and talk? Like, why are these, like, yes, no. I want to, I want bring in and talk ability. Eldrathane, I believe we must confront Captain Oh, well, that's, with that's his okay. I mean, I wouldn't confront, I'd just I am question, seen the light investigate. My battle group is already on the way to deal with this traitor of yours. I will order my fleet to accompany you. However, I must speak to Captain Okar myself. Very well, human. I agree to your terms. You will soon see his corruption with your own eyes. Okay. My ships are en route to the last known position of Captain Okar's ship. I will give you one chance to convince this traitor to surrender. But if he shows any signs of resistance, my warriors will attack without mercy. The Farseer's visions are not false, Spire. This captain will betray you sooner or later. 
Do not be fooled by the traitor's lies. Okay. Um, well, you know, I'm not going to be fooled by his lies because I'm literally going to be like, mate, look, we need to take you in just to talk to the Inquisitor a bit. Um, it's fine. There's nothing wrong. We just need to talk. And he's going to be like, no. And I'm going to be like, well, then you're refusing an Inquisitorial order. And he'll be like, yep. And I'll be like, cool, I can kill you. Uh, right, 350 points. Elder, I've got 350 points then. Uh, we're against Imperials, which means we've got to out Imperial Imperials. Imperials are short to medium range. Uh, so I need to go either like really long range or really, really close in shooty. Like I need to pick one. I can't just be like vanilla. Because then it'll literally be vanilla versus vanilla. And that's a 50-50 chance. I need to pick one and I need to stick to it. I would love to bring the Retribution in right now. But... It's not available. Um, oh, I kind of think I've got to bring the Dauntless. It's, it's an Inquisitorial ship. We've got to bring the Dauntless. Okay, I'm thinking what we do is we bring the lot of skills because um, it's got arm penetrating ammo, power ram, micro warp. It's also got our auger, ability to turn, and the torpedo's going to come in helpful. I was tempted by the Overlord. I'm going to hold it for now. But and while I would normally pick the Overlord in this situation, so I've got, like, really powerful guns, I'm going to go with uh, the, sword, the Sword of Endermancer. And in fact, I'm going to make it my capital ship. The reason for that is... Inquisitorial ship. It's it's not the best choice. No, I know. People are probably freaking out in the comment section that I'm not picking the best thing. The optimal build. But it's it's thematic. I want to bring the Inquisition along, right? This is This is important. It's Inquisition time. We're having words. We've got to bring them along. Got to bring along those thumbscrews and thumbtacks and um, whatever else it is. Um, I think I can only get two escorts anyway, so I'm just going to get two firestorms. Uh, the reason being, I'm picking Luna and the firestorms is because the lances get through armor pretty well. Uh, the Dauntless is entirely because of this. In fact, it does have a front-powered lance cannon, so that's fine. But I'm going lance heavy for this because I need to penetrate armor. Admiral Spire to Captain Ooh, Elias hello. Okar. Respond. Sir, Eat Captain Okar reporting. You should know an Eldar battle group has been sighted in the area, and my crew They're is literally next to me. Alert. Lord Admiral Ravensburg and Inquisitor Horst have approved a truce with the Eldar. All Imperial Navy vessels have strict orders not to engage the aliens. Mask Sir, Mask those class. orders are a disgrace. The Eldar have raided multiple Imperial convoys crossing this area over the last few weeks. These aliens are as much a threat as the Chaos Fleets. The orders stand, Captain. Now heave to, power down your weapons, and prepare to be boarded. The Imperial Navy has grown weak. Oh. I will never surrender to Xenos. There we go. Okay, that's cool. We can kill you now. Happy. Right, let's make sure we get in nice and close. The traitor Captain has set an intercept course for my battle group. What will you do now, human? Negotiations are over. Captain Okar has sealed his fate. Engaging! Okay, well, provided your battle group starts a little bit further back. Ship ready! Wait for it. There we go. Resuming normal functions. He's running silent? That seems like a very odd order to give, considering um, I can see you because you're the main target. I guess maybe you just don't know that. Uh-oh, here comes Nova Cannon. Oh, missed. Okay. Now, bear in mind, we don't need any fighters to take down uh, enemy torpedoes that are incoming. So we're not going to be optimal here. It looks like we're going to get one torpedo. They've, of course, sent out fighters, which are going to try and shoot down the torpedo. It's probably going to be successful. Okay. Got a hit on that, whatever it is. Yes, Admiral. Activating Let's find out what you are. Escort. Don't mind too much. Underway! Resuming normal function of my ships. Gone! You've lost your mind, Spy. What? 
Those men were fully loyal to the Imperium. Wait, one of your ships died? Was it this one? It just disappeared. Orders received. Right. Oh god. Evasive maneuvers. Acquiring new vector. And away. Right. Activating tactical cogitators. Use your lock on ability. Right, we need to get as much firepower down range as possible. Hey, you've taken quite a little beating. That's quite nice. I approve. Enemy ship sighted. Okay, uh, we're shooting you. Sure. I've got a fire on board. I should probably put it out. Activate I haven't taken enough damage to really, cogitators. like, make it worthwhile in my eyes. Enemy oh, God. That's a lot of boardings, but sure. <gasps> Ooh, the Elder are sending in their bombers. Ninja slow field. But, oh, my God. Elder bombers are really good. Enemy ship sighted. That use of pulse lances was kind of superfluous. Dictator cruiser. Cruises. I'm a little bit wary of that. Engine destroyed. Ah, oh, no. Okay, that's pretty bad. Initiate emergency repairs. Okay. Well, the Inquisition aren't going to be able to get there in time, so uh, let's do our thing. Cogitators. Boost, boost, boost. All right, here we go. Okay. Two dobbies left. Yeah. Oh, we might actually manage to. No, we're not gonna make it. We don't have enough boost. Engines hot. All right, lock on. Understood. Right, broadside. How's it going over here? I'm going to tell you to have your AI on. I'm not going to be able to micromanage you. We're probably going to lose you. I'm going to have to try and jump you out at the last moment. How are you doing over here? Good, but you're mostly killing escorts. Right, now we should heal. You should probably actually pull back. I'm going to turn that off. Oh, we've taken out the generator as well. I'm just going to pull you back for now. Boost. Yeah. Activating tactical cogitators. Right, stop. Setting course. Boost. Surrender while you can, or we keep will going, keep going, keep going, keep going, and stop. I will never surrender to you, Raven's Bar, or even the Dead Emperor. My Ooh, your engine's out. Excellent. Burn. I approve that. Normal functions. Okay, wait, wait, stop. And then here's my cunning plan. Wait for it. Oh, only two torpedoes got out? Eh, yeah, fine. Can't be perfect. Right, wait, literally keep turning, keep turning, keep turning. This is all about the ram. We are literally not moving right now. Okay, well, I found a bug. Um, a US? No, what? Wait, what are you doing? Okay, it looks like they're not really doing much damage. Ow! Okay, right. Um, I can't get through your shields with my guns until the shields are down. However, I can ram you. Hi! Done. Uh, I can execute my captain, but I think we win now, don't we? Yes! Did it! Ow, that looks painful. But we won, and that's what's important. We took out seditious traitors, turning into chaos. Oh, the Dauntless got... Oh, we lost Inquisitor horses aboard that. Oh, this is going to be awkward. I'm going to have to explain to the Inquisition how I got their top agent killed. <sighs> Echo awkward. Also, I really like that ship. My rangers are searching the wreckage of your traitor captain's ship. They tell me that they have found many disturbing signs of his corruption. This traitor turned the temple aboard his ship into a shrine of blood and carnage. 
Eldrathane, this is a matter for the Inquisition. Pull your warriors back at once. Inquisitional ships oh, are already on Yay. their way, alien. You would do well to be gone when they arrive. Well done, Admiral Spire. Your diplomatic skill with the Eldar and exposure of the traitor have strengthened our chances of winning this war. Okay. Awesome. Admiral Ravensburg's like, it's a terrible idea. You should never do this. Ah, well done. You did well. <laughs> oh, do I, do I dare help out? <sighs> I really want to help out the Imperial like ships because I really want the points. Is it us doing a breakthrough? I could do a breakthrough. Ooh, hello. Oh, that's one of the Black Flame Fortresses that's going to get attacked. Anvil. If I remember my history correctly. Or, you know, future, technically. We need to break through an enemy blockade. As long as the blockade exists, the Imperial Navy cannot operate freely in the system. Okay, so we got to break through. 300 points. I can do that. If it was defending, I wouldn't. But hopefully we can do this. Let's have a check what we've got available, though. Okay, Portmore. Great eternity. You're slow anyway. I probably wouldn't want you. Um, oh, look at that. So many injured. You're destroyed. There needs to be a different symbol for injured and destroyed. Like, the skull should be white. Um, I mean, I know that technically they've been destroyed and they're now one stage towards being back, which I basically count as injured. <sighs> right. We've got one Dauntless. The problem is I really want my Dauntlesses for running the roadblock. That said, I can only ever get two cruisers, so it'll be one Dauntless, which will be you. And... It'll probably be uh, the Divine Lotus skills again. Uh, might be... We might bring in one of these, one of the battle cruisers, but we'll see. Some with speed, though. Any upgrades to do? No? Okay, cool. I've got a lot of renown, though. You know what we could do? Could get a favor. One of the cheaper favors. I know we're about to discount on this, but it's only going to discount by like 10. And it would improve our chances. What this gives us is the ability to call in reinforcements. We can call in a Cobra class escort ship, enters the battlefield as reinforcements. The player has to deploy the ship within a radius of 5,000 units around the ship. Um, but if it's one of the upgrades you've got on it, it's on the cooldown at the start of the battle. And it's like three minutes. But after three minutes, you can call it in. We also gain. Immune to insubordination. Uh, not an amazing ability there, but the three vessel is nice, especially when it doesn't matter the size of the ship you put it on. This literally does the same thing. So you might as well only get it on the smaller ships, which is, again, Dauntless. I'm going to buy this right now. Imperial Navy, ready to strike. Isn't that like powerfully, I don't know, Scarus or something? I can't remember what color this is. It's not mine. It's not Gothic Sector. I don't know why Imperial Navy is suddenly a different color kind of shouldn't be. I guess I want to differentiate it, but it's not a lot different there. Oh, I can't really do a comparison since he destroyed. Oh well, let's go to the Gothic Sector. Oh, and it always takes us back to the uh, Portmore Sector, or well, Subsector. Right. Bring it, baby. Now, the trick is trying to take out all of the um, stations when I know that my AI en enemy, I was going to say ally, I decided on enemy, uh, is going to be controlling half the fleet because it's stupid. Uh, I could use something like an overcan slow field. Slow fields are great versus um, uh, orcs. Really would help. But at the same time, you are pretty slow. What's your speed? 150, 150, 150. So, you know, they're all the same speed. So I could go something like the Mars class. If I go Lunar, I can get a frigate low. Oh, yeah, I think I've kind of got a. Right, here's the plan. We're going to ram the station. You keep bombarding, and then we can call in the Cobra if we need to. You should not be the capital ship, though. Ready. Okay, what have I got as allies? Ooh, hello. All lance batteries on you. No, not lance, they're... 
They look like lances. Why you maybe dominator with plasma? But it's something with plasma batteries, isn't it? Destroy the platforms and get through. Hello, Orky. Oh, this is going to be a fun one. Especially since my troop level is fairly low because I've lost a lot of penal worlds. Okay, we just need to get through, right? We need to destroy these and charge. Right, I'm going to start here. Uh, bit of debris in the way. Right, I'm going to start here. I'm going to aim this way and then I'm going to move across. Actually, yeah, you can right, go this way. In fact, I'm going to... How far range have you got on your guns? Six. Well, we're going to have to stick to six. Right, we're going to basically move you that way. What about you? Lance six and macro six. Yeah, six will do. Your job is to effectively move at this one, and then we'll move you across. Firestorm. Front. We do have a nine range on this one. I'm just going to let the AI do its job. Activating right, who have we got? Gothic class cruiser. Lance batteries. Yeah, they've got just lance batteries. Pure lance batteries. Maybe not a bad idea against orcs. All the arm penetration. Dauntless class like cruiser. Okay. Let's do this thing. Uh, where is my probe? I'm going to spin over that way and fire off the Emperor. Activating tactical cogitators. Now I do have. Yes, Admiral. What's I thinking? Uh, a disruption bomb might be of use. There are fighters Enemy there. Activating tactical oh, ram ship. Uh, terror cruiser. I think that's got to be our aim right now of our torpedoes. Enemy ship A light sighted. cruiser fitted with anti... Uh, sorry, uh, tiny little things. What are they called? You call them a, a word. There's a word for like knowledge. fighters and bombers and that. Anyway, it's fitted with that stuff. Changing course. Activating tactical cogitators. Engines to maximum. Miss me. Activating tactical cogitators. Right, go directly at that. You, now's your chance. Go directly Engines there. Keep going. This is this is gonna be tough. Don't get me wrong. Right, we're gonna try and fire it. And just keep burning. Keep burning. We missed him. Ah. Oh well. Right. If we do take him out, we want to take out engine. Oh, you taking out the engine. Awesome. Right. Keep focusing on engines. That's what I want to take out. Engines all the time. All engines all the time. Right. We are the Imperial Navy. Take that out. Here we go. Generate disabled. Nah, that's not good. Right, keep it going, keep it going. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Boost. Oh, the engine's out. We're still gonna get hit here. We didn't. Mainly because of luck. Nah, I don't have the ability to really turn very easily. Otherwise, I could just unleash uh, a load of torpedoes. Activating tactical cogitators. Oh, here we go. It's on fire. Low half health. Ah, it's not on fire anymore. Right. Turn. Turn towards it. Cruising speed set. Activating tactical cogitators. Okay, it kind of intercepted a load of those. Unfortunately. Right, I'd like you to turn towards this one. I'm going to try and micro you into a ramming position, but I don't know if it's going to work. Understood. All ahead, 
Come on. Come on, you're really badly injured. This is what you're good for. Enemy <laughs> it cost me. It cost me. But you, you gave your life well, Honor Smith. Resuming normal functions. Course plotted. Come on. One pass. One more. Come on, give me another Understood. shot. Give me another shot. Orders received. Give me another shot. Yes. Right, how are we doing over here? You've literally like failed to do anything of worth. I love the yes, air in this game. Admiral. Why is it so okay when it's against me? You look like you're preparing to do a ram. And it got me. Oh well. It happens. Come on. Helm coordinates acknowledged. Boost. Take this. Enemy defense platform destroyed. Right, next one. I'll be honest though, the escorts and like the like the um what's it called? Dauntless, the light cruiser, they're really keeping down the entire fleet. Awaiting Not like orders. literally the entire oh god. Brace. The boarding torpedoes. Activating tactical cogitators. Ah, only one. Take that. Acquiring new vector. Oh your engine's down. Well it's up to me then. Setting course. Brace for impact. Cruising speed there we go. Managed to deflect him. Activating tactical cogitators. Right, here's the plan. We're getting really close. Fire to piece at last moment, then we ram. And then we just sprint for it. Initiate emergency repairs. Right, ready. Right. Torpedoes. Engines to maximum. Burn it, burn it, burn it. Enemy defense platform destroyed. That's it. That's all the defense platforms. Go. Line ship. Oh, I've got two line ships to the end. Oh, God. That means I need one of these to survive. Holy crap. I really should have paid attention to that. It's been on the screen since the start. So it's not like it's uh, anyone's fault but mine. Activating tactical cogitators. You're not going to do anything. I probably should have made you like last longer by like going for the bra uh, Bracer Impact or something. I'm going to try and get there. Your engine's out, so you're really slow. Your I'm going to have to shield you with my bulk. This is my fault for not paying attention earlier. I would have played a bit more careful. You're actually doing not badly, but you need to keep that speed up. Changing course. Right now, I'm just going to take Execute care of myself. That's not a bad aim. That wasn't bad at all. I might actually get another one here. Yeah. Not bad. Ooh, hello. Cruising speed set. You do look very orc like, I approve. Your orders? I'm gonna throw an auger probe at them. Not because it does anything, but because I hope it just hits someone in the face. Ship ready. You called in the three cobra. <laughs> See, that's the kind of stuff you can do. It's not particularly great. Did it hit anyone in the face? Dad, ah, totally hit someone in the face. Awaiting orders. Race for impact. Yes. Done. That's how you do it. It was hit, hit miss. I was relying on the uh, AI at the end there, but you know. It had an engine up, just one left. My god, the way that orcs seem to just target your engines, it's really effective.
And it did cost the Honor Smith. Though the Honor Smith died for good reason. It held off the uh, Orcs for long enough and it rammed a... Uh, I mean, if you're gonna go out, right, it's ramming the objective. If you're gonna go. If you have to go, you do it by ramming the objective. For the win. It wasn't necessarily for the win. It was the first one we got, I think, but whatever. Anyway, the point being, it got us the win. Without it, we wouldn't have had a chance. Anyway, uh, it looks like Chaos is getting awfully close to winning, so I think the next time we'll have to target Chaos, but that'll be next episode. If you have enjoyed so far, please remember to like, though. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. And until next time, stay shiny.